Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss on how to write the test case for login page. So I have taken an example eBay the login page to create the test cases. How can we create a test cases for login page? So normally login page will have two or three fields. So in this uh, eBay page we have email or username is one field and we have a password is on the second field and we'll have a sign in or login or submit button as a third field so now let's understand how can we create a test case for these three fields what are the various uh, test cases we can create for this uh, ebay login page so let's understand how can we create the login page for all the these three fields so first of all let's take an uh, text field which is email or username so basically the username is in a text field so text field or username can take whatever the limit which is prescribed for the username so you should validate the requirements just to ensure that what is the username can take so username can take uh, the 10 characters or it can take uh, 20 characters or it can take 30 characters maximum right that is a one test cases what is the size of the username field so if it is taking 30 characters then you should uh, validate for less than 30 characters and also you should validate for the more than 30 characters the more than 30 characters is a boundary condition te technique where we are testing behind 30 test cases, 30 characters. If that is going to work, then you should log a defect because your recommend says that username can take maximum 30 characters. So your username can take maximum 30 characters means your uh, test cases should talk about only maximum 30 test cases. If anything is taking more than 30 characters, then you should log the defect. That is one test case. Then is a username can take uh, uh, characters, right, and special characters. Is your username field can take characters and special case uh, characters. That is the second cases. Out of these thirty characters, it should take characters and special characters. So that is the second test case. If, if if a username says that it should it can only take username field it tells only it can take characters and numbers right no special characters no special character then you should be very clearly write a test case saying that if somebody tries to enter a username with a special character then you should not accept if user user story says that characters and numbers and special characters is also allowed then you should say you should accept that you will have to write another test case for that that is for the username now let's say here it also accept an email id so email id will have three parts in it one is email id itself let's say email id is test right it is a email name now you should also have the special character at symbol the name with at and the domain name in this case ebay.com so this is the right format for the email then we will have to validate the right format for this email id so you should associate with the name followed by at and followed by the domain name so domain name can be anything uh, the name followed with dot it can be dot in dot com dot info right you can have dot info you can have various uh, domain names you can have it uh, 
for the domain names so this is an test cases you should validate what are the things it can take as part of the email id so it could be rather than gmail you can use gmail or any email id which is a valid email id so i hope you understood what are the test cases you should be able to write for username what are the test cases you should be able to write the e email what are the extra test cases you should uh, apart from positive you should also write for negative test cases let's say you are entering a you are entering a test see you are entering a text then followed by spaces followed by spaces 1 to 3 so normally the space should not be acceptable for uh, uh username or email id so that is uh, one uh, negative test case you should add and if any username which is more than 30 characters if it is you should validate for the boundary condition if it is taking more than 30 characters you should log it effect so some of these are the negative test cases as well as boundary cases i hope you understood the how to write a test case for email field or username fields so let's move on to understand how you can write a test case for the password the password is nothing but here also in the user story they clearly define what all the values password can take the most of the cases they will say minimum is a eight characters should be a password and you should have a number you should have a character you should have a special characters and you should have a upper case one character right there are various uh, combinations they will define for the password you should be able to write the test case for each combination so only text uh, should not allow only numbers it should not allow only special characters the password should not allow because for a stronger password you should have all the combinations of all these characters so that means you should be able to write a test case with all these combinations and it should be validated and also whenever you are entering a password you should not be visible you should have star 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 in the in this field user should not be able to see what the test password you are entering so there is another option also is available if you click this then you should be able to view the password if you disable this then if your password whatever you are entering you should not be seeing you should be able to add another test case also for that i hope you understood what all the different test cases you can write for the password what all the different test cases you can write for email or username then third field is the login button or submit button or sign in button now so initially this sign in button and login button should be disabled right until you are not entering right username right password right this login button should be disabled in certain situation again you should go back to your user stories or recommend what they define if they define without entering username and password still i can click on sign in then you should write a test case in the same fashion right and you should validate how different companies login pages works how really the customer is user friendly login page the so based on that your recommends also will be defined appropriately so now uh, initially it should be disabled when you entered all those things you should be able to click on sign in when you click on sign in you should take back to the inside pages of the ebay in this case now that is another test case now let's say there is a, another test case you should be able to add is the the test case related to tab whenever you use the tab let's say you don't have mouse so you don't have mouse you need to operate only with the keyboard then tab functionality should work properly so you should add up a test case to navigate through the tab as well so that is another test case you should add up bar navigating using the tab so that is a usability aspect of the test case 
right? So uh, when you are navigating through the tab, you should be able to navigate to the all these fields to uh, access the these fields. I hope you understood the the navigation part of it, and also you understood how to write a test case for email account, email field, or username field. What are the various uh, test cases you can write for password, and also what are the various uh, test cases you can uh, write for sign in button. I hope uh, you enjoyed wa watching this video, and also you learned about how to write a test case for a login page. In this case, we have written for a eBay login page. So, if you have visited for the first time the Testing Shala YouTube channel. then please click on like button and click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox as and when we publish the new videos that would help to learn new testing skills every time with every videos thanks for watching this video take care bye for now